Hello YouTube. This video is going to be kind of very technical, but uh, still going to go about it um, for those for those kind of curious on if this is even possible at all. So um, don't mind the game name I'm trying to download. I was doing this as a test download because this game is kind of small, so I shouldn't have to worry about the size. But yeah, so what I end up doing is I have a I have this small GPD win as people all, as people know, and this device is very very specialized, has quite special hardware, and I don't want it to brick by a botched Windows update, right? So what I ended up doing is because I, I kept this machine offline for like months and months and months because I was too paranoid on bringing it online because Microsoft a Microsoft update might just destroy it, and well this thing's you know, not cheap, <laughs> and I really don't want to have to buy another one. So anyway, so anyways, what I end up doing is I, ha is I have a Linux uh, firewall, uh, custom uh, gateway firewall that I built myself, and that's what's been blocking my, all my Windows machines from actually getting online. So this machine here is an example. This machine here is exactly, um, this machine here doesn't have access to the internet at all except Steam servers. I basically went to the uh, AS32590, uh, autonomous network page on the border gateway protocol website to get all the all the network IDs I needed to basically unblock everything valve and it worked and I also had to unblock three more IP addresses which I found in their SSL cert the store.steam powered steam powered and I think api.steam powered and after I did that downloads work perfectly and get this it can't get online at all oh it actually did load the website finally actually my home my, my home site Cool. Anyways, but yeah, but it can't get online anywhere else. So let's so for example, let's go to uh, the let's go to the Edge browser. Actually, I can't really. Uh, let's do this here. So let me just click here. Okay, it's my one my my personal my page my my company site that I built a long time ago. I don't really uh, do work so much anymore. I'm not contracted anymore. But anyways, that's not that we're looking at here. Anyways, so what we're gonna look at is let's try to go to like a site like Google for example, right? If you go to for how do you get rid of this? Like fucking. I, from my language, how do you get rid of this? Like, edge, oh, that's why, this is so weird, like, come on. Anyways, look, it can't get anywhere. You can't get to Google, you can't go anywhere. It won't go anywhere, it says, look at that. It says right there, make sure you got the website address correct. Google doesn't exist, aha, right? And if you go to the Windows update, Windows update won't work, nothing. Windows, does Windows can't talk back home, there's no telemetry, there's no nothing. So let's go here, let's go to settings, let's take a look, and go to, uh, yeah, let's go to, where's updates in here again, I don't really, Keep track. Ah, oh, there. Update, updates and security. Let's go there. So let's tap that Windows update here, and it says I do have some Windows updates apparently waiting to be installed, but I'm not going to bother with that. I was, I thought I was hoping there'd be an, up, an update button, but if I try going to any website, let's try going to micro. Uh, oops, ah, crap. Let's try going to Microsoft's website for example. Let's try going to even LinkedIn. Let's try LinkedIn. It's going to fail. It's going to say LinkedIn doesn't exist. But if I go to any, if I go to like Steam. Like if I go to, like watch, if I go to store, I actually got to type in HTTPS here to be sure. Because I only, actually no, no, it'll work. Actually, yeah, it'll work. It should work. Because I, the, I, I whitelisted the IP addresses on my router. So store dot uh, steam, uh, steam powered dot com, enter. This should actually, this should, this should go through. It should. I, I've been noticing some weird things with Edge though. If Edge detects that the, it tries to do a few other weird connections before it tries to do my connection for the longest time. It wouldn't. Even, it wasn't even loading my, my, uh, my contracting page for so long. I don't know why. It just would never load it. And then I've no. And then I guess when I came back here, it did. I don't think I have my proxy settings in my Firefox. Let's go to Firefox. Firefox is much more better. To test this out, so I don't think I have my proxy settings in Firefox. I use a local proxy server for everything else that blocks ads and blocks a bunch of other, you know, it blocks malicious JavaScript and things. But the point of this video is that I can still do downloads. It can still download, and yeah, I downloaded the this game now, and it works perfectly fine. And it, 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 my this miniature laptop can't do anything but Steam, which is perfect, because really, if if it, if it does get infected for whatever reason. Virus can't talk out. Virus can't do shit. <laughs> Pardon my language, but yeah, the virus can't do anything. So just waiting for this to, yeah, it's not going to lose any power in here. And Firefox is taking a while to load because this machine doesn't really run Firefox very well. Doesn't matter too much though. But yeah, the point is that this video is that I basically can, let's just actually, as an example, it took a while though, last time I did this, I don't know why, it took a second to actually do it, but let's go to, 
Let's go to another easy one to install. Let's go to Hacknet. Hacknet, uh, someone recommended this game. I got a chance to play it. So let's try installing it on here. I played for a minute a while. I haven't played it for a while because I didn't want to keep my Windows machines online because, well, Windows updates can, have been very bad lately. So let's try to install Hacknet. So I'm going to click install. We're going to go next. It's going to go, go to my ID where my Steam library is. Let's go next. Ah, next. Oh, that was funny. Yeah. There's so many things going on right now. I think it's Firefox is, yeah, Firefox is trying to update. Oh yeah, there it goes. And now preparing Hacknet to install. And then in a few seconds, Hacknet will install. And I noticed that it takes a bit longer. I'm guessing because Steam, I guess, normally probably goes through eight, probably goes through some certain Akamai boxes, but if it detects, I'm guessing if those are blocked or whatever, it just reroutes the download to their, to their Valve IP addresses. Because all I went is to the AS, uh, the asynchronous thing. Once it's Firefox, so there. Yeah, yeah it's all, now it's all getting space. And then you'll see Hacknet download, no problem. Yeah, see? This computer can't go anywhere else. But look, it's on Wi-Fi, that's so why the download speeds are kind of crappy. If I was on my if I was on a proper Ethernet, it would go faster. But yeah, it's downloading. And the computer can't connect to anything except Steam. <laughs> this is perfect. This is exactly my this is my goal for a while to get this going, and I did it. So after a while, I will be um I do plan on creating a uh, guide online for how to do this for people that you know have window have gaming PCs at home, gaming rigs at home, but don't want to deal with botched Windows updates or want to actually be able to update their system on their discretion rather than Microsoft forcing people. This is the ultimate way to do it. You can basically block your machine from getting out anywhere, and only connect where you need to. You can't connect securely for some reason. I don't know why this happens. It's weird. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's, that's kind of strange, but it is able to download and everything. I'm guessing it's related to, it, has to be some, it must be doing something else. I don't know exactly what Steam's website's doing in the background, but I'm, I've been, I tweeted it to Steam support and they were unfortunately, they didn't reply at, at all yet about anything, so I don't know. But if I do do purchases on the Steam store, I'll probably just do it on my Linux machine anyway, so it has full access to the internet. And then once I, once I purchase it on Linux, it'll just appear in my, you know, my library. And yeah, so Hacknet is now playable. <laughs> and yeah, it's playable on a machine that otherwise can't get online. <laughs> now, isn't that cool? It's something that, uh, yeah, here's, here's Firefox. Okay, let's see. Let's go to Facebook, for example. This should not work. Yeah, it's not going to work. Cause my, I, don't know, my, my, I didn't set my proxy in here at all, so my proxy's not set in here. So if I go to any of these sites, it's just going to fail. I can go to my internal, my internal home pages, but I can't go anywhere else. So let's try the, I'm kind of curious, maybe it's just Edge that's messing up. Maybe Edge is just, I think Edge is doing something really weird. Or, oh, I know. Maybe Edge is trying to, uh, is trying to do something with um, with the certs to verify the cert, but it can't verify the cert, so it gives you that page instead. Because Firefox has all the root certs inside. So Firefox, yep. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's going to, okay, so it's performing TLS handshake, so it is connected. Oh, yeah, there it is. Yeah, so it's Edge. Edge browser obviously has some weird bugs then. Yeah, welcome to Steam. So, yeah, so you can access uh, Steam, you can access the store through Firefox, I guess, on machines that have this, on computers that are on this type of restricted network. Oh, yeah, there it goes. There's a the problem. There, so it's trying to connect to AkamaiHE.net. I did not unblock that. So Steam store, I got I to gotta do an NS lookup on this later. Steam, Steam store dash A dot AkamaiHD.net. So yeah, so I need to unblock that. So Steam Store does do something strange. So I got to figure out where that is. So let's go here and let's do a NS lookup. Not that I need to NS lookup. Um, yeah, it says connecting, which is kind of strange because it won't connect at all to Steam to Steam Store dot but it can still download because I unblocked every single Valve IP. On their AS, as I said, AS three two five ninety autonomous network through the BG through BGP. Um, so uh, not A because uh, I cause I just got unblocked this one. That'll work. Ak A Ak uh, my this keyboard is not ideal to be doing this on Ak my HD net and enter. Okay, yeah, so all I gotta do is unblock those two IP addresses and then the store should work. Now, it is a work in progress, but once I get everything functioning properly, I will have a how-to about this, like an actual how-to page uh, posted up somewhere. So anybody that wants to be able to do this can do this if they have a if they have a custom Linux router, they can just set up certain routes 
and prevent their Windows machines from connecting anywhere except Steam, which is exactly the idea of what I did. Anyways, um, yeah, like this video if you like it, and I hope to make uh, hopefully a guide soon that shows how to get this all working and makes makes it for you can you know purchase mach purchase games on a on a different machine and then be able to download it onto your gaming rig without your gaming rig having you know internet access. So, anyways, toodles. Talk later.